Welcome to another Holly Was video, where we show you what your favorite celebs in past TV shows, films, and music are like today. As always, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified of our newest videos. Today's video, we're talking about the classic film, The Sound of Music. Comment below, was The Sound of Music a big part of your childhood? And if so, what was your favorite part of the film? The 1965 film, which is based on a real World War II family, focuses on Maria, a rebellious young Austrian lady preparing to become a nun. Her naivety and youthful enthusiasm, though, poses a couple concerns. As a result, Mother Abbess sends Maria to Captain Von Trapp's home to look after his seven children. The movie sold 283 million tickets globally and brought a total of 286 million after a successful two releases. The original theater run was four and a half years long. In addition to winning two Golden Globe Awards and the Directors Guild Award of America, The Sound of Music also won the Writers Guild of America Award for Best Written American Musical. The Film Institute listed Sound of Music as the fourth best musical and the 55th best American movie of all time in 1998. The film is such a big part of history that the movie was chosen by the United States Library of Congress in 2001 for inclusion in the National Film Registry because it was deemed to be culturally, historically, and aesthetically significant. Most recently, Julie and her on-screen children reunited when she was honored with the 48th Life Achievement Award last June, which brought her fans to tears and created a lot of nostalgia. Now, let's get into the characters. First up, we have Christopher Plummer, who was 35 years old when he played the role of Captain Von Trapp, a Navy officer and the father of seven kids. He had a very long career in Hollywood, starring in The Fall of the Roman Empire in 1964, The Insider in 1999, and The New World in 2005. He was recognized with an Academy Award, two Tony Awards, two Primetime Emmy Awards, and a Grammy nomination, making him the only recipient of the Triple Crown of Acting from Canada to also receive a Grammy nomination. In 2011, he became the oldest person to ever win an acting award from the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. He is also the oldest to be nominated for an Academy Award. He passed away at the age of 91 last year after a tremendous career. At the time of his death, he was supposed to have the lead role in the film adaptation King Lear by William Shakespeare. Eleanor Parker played the role of Baroness Elsa at the age of 42, Captain Von Trapp's romantic interest. She played her final TV role in the 1991 television film Dead on the Monkey. At the age of 91, she passed away due to pneumonia-related complications. Her grandson is Chasen Parker, who has appeared on General Hospital in Seventh Heaven. Peggy Wood was 73 years old when she played Mother Abbess, the lead nun. The role earned her a Golden Globe Award and an Academy Award nomination. She had a tremendous acting career. She's also best known for playing the title role in the CBS series Mama in 1949, for which she was nominated for a Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Drama Series. Wood passed away from a stroke in 1978 at the age of 86. Her final television appearance was on ATV's Turtle Progress, which came out in 1979. Richard Hayden played the role of Max at age 60, also known as the sidekick of Captain Von Trapp. He was 80 years old when he passed away from a heart attack. His portrayals as Baron in The Merry Widow and William in Mutiny on the Bounty are some of his most well-known roles. Charmian Carr played Liesl and was 22 years old at the time. Liesl was the eldest Von Trapp child. She left show business two years after the film's release. At the age of 73, Carr passed away from dementia-related complications. Prior to her death, she collaborated with the great-grandchildren of the Von Trapps on the recording of Edelweiss on the album Dream a Little Dream. It was released two years before her death. Heather Menzies was 15 years old when she played the role of Louisa, the third oldest. 
She has done a number of films such as Endangered Species and Piranha before retiring from acting in 1991. She was 68 years old when she received the heartbreaking news of a terminal brain cancer diagnosis. She died a month later in November 2017. Anna Lee played the role of Sister Margareta when she was 52 years old. She was given a Daytime Emmy Lifetime Achievement Honor posthumously after passing away from pneumonia in 2004 at the age of 91. Julie Andrews was 29 years old when she played the main character of Maria, a young and free-spirited nun. Over the course of a career spanning more than seven decades, she's won countless accolades, including an Academy Award, two Primetime Emmy Awards, three Grammy Awards, and six Golden Globe Awards. Prior to the release of The Sound of Music, Julie was also experiencing tremendous success for her feature film debut in Walt Disney's Mary Poppins in 1964. Sadly, in 1997, her throat was permanently damaged after a surgery meant to remove vocal nodules. Her singing voice has never been the same again. She's now 87 years old, and despite the vocal damage, she continues to act in non-singing roles. Most recently, she played Gru's mother in the film Minions, The Rise of Gru, which was released in July of this year. Nicholas Hammond was 15 years old when he played the role of Friedrich, the second eldest, who tries to have a tough exterior in front of his father. He's also known for playing Peter Parker, also known as Spider-Man in the 1970s television series The Amazing Spider-Man. He's now 72 years old. Most recently, he featured in the drama film Once Upon a Time in Hollywood in 2019 alongside Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt. He also joined the cast of the musical Rodgers and Hammerstein Cinderella, which took place in May. Dwayne Chase was 14 years old when he played the role of Kurt, the fourth eldest sibling. After his brief appearance in the TV series The Big Valley in 1966, he appeared to have retired from acting. He's currently 71 years old, lives in Washington, and works as a software engineer for geologists. Angela Cartwright was 12 years old when she played the role of Brevita, the smart Von Trapp who loves to read. She's now 70 years old. She played several television roles over the years, most recently in the sci-fi series Lost in Space in 2019. She also currently paints and sells art and memorabilia through the Angela Cartwright Studio. Debbie Turner was just 8 years old when she played the role of Marta, the second youngest among the siblings. After appearing in The Sound of Music, she appeared to retire from acting. She's now 66 years old and is running a wedding flower and event plan company in Minnesota. Kim Karath was just seven years old when she played the youngest child, Gretel. Her final film role was in 1981 with a television movie called Midnight Offerings. She's now 64 years old and is currently living a private life with her family. And that's it for the classic film, The Sound of Music, then and now. We hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more than and now videos about your favorite actors, singers, and more. And of course, we'll see you in the next video.